Hey guys, welcome back. Today I will be sharing some really fun, cute, and festive Christmas DIYs using Dollar Tree products. Yes, please. Today's DIYs will be using this item from the Dollar Tree. And these little planks are amazing for crafting and DIYs. If you couldn't get your hands on the Santa and maybe you have a few scarecrow pieces left over from fall time, definitely use those up. That is what I did. For Christmas time, the Dollar Tree came out with a Santa, an elf, and a snowman. They are all super cute to just set up exactly like this. But I'm going to show you three different DIYs that I decided to turn into these into. If you enjoy seeing my crafting and DIY videos, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up before you go. And let's go ahead and jump into today's DIYs. Alrighty, jumping into DIY number one, I used two of these scarecrow planks from the Dollar Tree. If you don't have any of these, maybe you have some leftover Halloween pieces you could use up, or Dollar Tree right now has them in a snowman, an elf, and a Santa. So I gave them two coats of Waverly chalk paint in white, and then I attached them with extra large jumbo popsicle sticks. And then I did want to create a frame for this piece, so I'm showing you three different options you can use. You can pick up some paint sticks from Walmart, some extra large jumbo popsicle sticks, or just use regular craft sticks. I did give them two coats of the Waverly Wax in Antique, and I love the way it looks. I love this color so much. And then I did go ahead and pre-trim them. These popsicle sticks with a pair of scissors and just created a border for my little planks. And I love the way that it turned out, as you can see here. And then I just applied it with hot glue. You definitely could use wood glue. Um, but I felt like the hot glue, it worked just as well and I needed it to dry really fast. And for this project, I decided to use some window clings and I think some wall stickers. So let's go ahead and look at these three here. This set right here is from the Dollar General. Oh my goodness, is it not? Oh, so cute. This set here is from the Dollar Tree and the wall stickers are from the Dollar General and each one of these items were only a dollar. Yes, please. So I did end up deciding to go with the wall stickers. So these are just so easy to use y'all for a dollar. They're sticky, so you don't have to add any glue or Mod Podge. I did go ahead and start trimming mine out individually. They are individual stickers, but I definitely wanted to play around with placement. As you can see here, the little truck has a blue Christmas tree, and that just really doesn't go with my theme. So I went ahead and cut out a little vinyl decal of a little red truck and a green tree. I could have totally just like cut the blue tree out and just popped on the little vinyl sticker of the tree, but I I went ahead and just changed the whole little truck out. Super easy peasy. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and take off all of the pieces and apply them to my board. So now that I have my wall sticker on, I definitely need to fill up this white space on the left and the right side. So I decided to take these little trees from the window clean set and I think they were the perfect little touch right here. I just applied them with Mod Podge on the back and a little bit on the front and I did wipe away any excess. Mm -hmm. 
I did want to create a little greenery piece for this project so I did take some Dollar Tree garland ties and a few of their floral picks. I did deconstruct the floral picks so that I could maneuver them around the floral ties. I'm sorry around the garland ties. As you can see here I did take two of the garland ties and I twisted them together and then I took some hot glue and started to place all of the pieces on the garland ties. And here is what it looks like. I decided to add a black and white buffalo check bow. So I went ahead and did that. And then I'm taking a little bit of the Waverly White chalk paint and a sponge brush. And I'm just going to lightly paint the greenery just to give it that snowy flocked look. You could totally skip the step if this isn't for you. But if you do love that flocked look, this is super easy to do. Now to glue this piece onto the board, I did go ahead and hot glue a craft stick to the back of it just to make it easier. And then I added some hot glue to the craft stick and now I'm popping it onto my project. And y'all, voila, how easy and simple was that? I think this piece turned out oh so cute. You definitely could change this up with some different wall stickers. You could change your border color out to something that maybe fits your theme or your style, but I think this one turned out oh so cute. Okay, moving on to DIY number two. I took another plank painted it with two coats of the white Waverly chalk paint and then I decided to use the smaller craft sticks just because I was only going to use one wooden plank and I did give those two coats of the Waverly chalk paint in oh goodness I think it's crimson it's the red and I'm just gonna go ahead and hot glue these little craft sticks on now I will say whenever you are working with the craft sticks and you're hot gluing them on just because you're cutting them out with scissors it's not going to be exactly perfect the pieces are not going to line up like a puzzle piece i did try my best and i would cut a few of the craft sticks over and over again just to make sure i could try to get it you know to fit a little bit better you can see some of the little places look a little wonky but i think overall this project is going to turn out really cute so I personally think the little imperfections and it being a homemade project just give it character. Okay, for this project, I decided to use these galvanized Christmas tree ornaments from Hobby Lobby. I believe you get a four pack for $3.99 and then they're 50% off, so super affordable. And I wanted to give these little Christmas trees an embellishment. So I'm showing you two options here. You can take a little garland tie and some of these little teeny tiny pine cones and berries from Hobby Lobby as well and create a little greenery piece or you can take some thinner ribbon and make a little bow. I decided to go with the little bows. I think they are just so cute. So I made three of them and then hot glued them on to my galvanized tree. Since I do have a silhouette, I went ahead and made this little decal here that says ho 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 and I cut it apart to add one to each tree. If you don't have a cutting machine, you definitely could take a white chalk paint and write or paint ho 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 or whatever you would like your Christmas trees to say. Or you could add stickers. Okay, so I'm just going to bring my little decor piece back and attach my galvanized ornaments with some hot glue, 
pop those on and then I wanted to make a little greenery piece for this item as well. A big bow would have definitely looked pretty as well but I went ahead with the greenery. So again I'm going to take some floral picks from the Dollar Tree as well as their garland ties and get to making a little greenery piece just like I did in the previous project. Here is how DIY number two turned out. Y'all, I am obsessed. I think it turned out so adorable. You definitely could add a little nautical rope hanger so that you could attach it to the wall. I have mine styled by the fireplace for this video and think it just uh, turned out so cute. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. Okay, moving on to DIY number three. I am going to use that same little setup as the first project. I used two of the planks, gave them two coats of the white Waverly chalk paint and created the same type of border frame with craft sticks and a coat of the antique wax from Waverly. For this project, I did take the Waverly chalk paint in mineral and I did go ahead and dry brush the white area. This step would have been better to do before I added the little wooden craft stick border or frame, but I just went with it. I did decide to take this little window cling from the Dollar General to attach it to this little project, as well as this little wooden Merry Christmas craft set from Hobby Lobby. I believe it was regular price $3.99 and then it was 50% off, so super affordable. And then I just went ahead and took some Mod Podge to glue down my little window cling. And I just tried my best for placement for Merry Christmas on trying to keep it level and symmetrical so I did use some craft sticks to help me and then I did go ahead and attach the Merry Christmas using hot glue. Chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is falling. It will always be Christmas in my heart. Now, I think it turned out so cute, but I definitely wanted to give it a little bit of something else. So I did decide to take those snowflakes that came on those window clings and I did attach them using Mod Podge. And oh my goodness, I just, I love the way this piece turned out. This little project was so affordable and so easy to put together. I hope that these little projects did inspire you to create something really crafty and fun this winter and Christmas season. Just come in to visit. No, he wouldn't miss this. 
Alrighty, that is a wrap for today's video. Like always, I would love to hear which DIY was your favorite, so let me know in the comments down below. And I would love to know what is your theme or how are you decorating for Christmas this year? Are you going more rustic, red and black buffalo check, which is my favorite, and that's like what I do upstairs. Like my tree back here is the red and black buffalo check theme. It is just like one of my favorites. A few years ago, I used to have a red and leopard print Christmas tree. It was so fabulous and I still have all of the decor I cannot get rid of it because I'm like what if like, what if I want to set that tree up one more time so I'm still holding on to all of that decor but I definitely would love to know how you decorate or what your Christmas decor theme is if you did enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up it really helps my channel out and thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me don't forget to subscribe before you leave hit that notification bell so that you won't miss my next upload and I'll see you in my next one bye guys Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and